Broad audience. For an adult audience. Bloodline may contain sexually oriented Story. content. With sexually oriented content. Listener discretion is advised. Listener discretion is advised. Listener discretion is advised. This is Loveline. 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 With Adam Carolla and Dr. Drew. Hey, everybody. It's Loveline. I'm Adam. That's Dr. Drew. Phone number 1 800 L O V E 191. Dr. Drew, board certified physician and addiction medicine specialist. Tori and Allison both here tonight from the Donna's. We're going to have uh, Brett and uh, Maya come in here. In, uh, <laughs> what am I doing? Did I screw Maya? up? Maya? It's Maya. Maya. Oh, Maya. No, I was just laughing at the applause. Yes. Sorry. We get applause. Sounds more Yay. like one of those rainmaker things. <laughs> Engineer uh, Chris is in uh, full effect tonight, by the way. First off, he's, he reeks of uh, Lavoris and uh, electric shave. Wow. So he's really slapped on the cologne. <laughs> it's real uh, cream. You had to know this is coming He's bright by. red now, too. Huh? He's, he's cute. <laughs> he's, I've never seen him more excited. <laughs> He's I'm not Thanks, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we never. The guy, the guy usually just smells like whatever the inside of his car smells like, I smell right? It actually, comes it's wafting here. over. It's right, nice. right when you started singing. I started. No, oh, it, it, he's so embarrassed. It, it's okay. It's a class move. There's no doubt. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah, we appreciate when people try to smell nice course, around us. Course. Course. Oh, it's, some it, people don't, and it. it Chris is a harsh. huge fan. It's huge, true. huge Donna's fan. Oh, yeah, I like that. Yeah, he's, uh, he has not got excited about anybody coming in. In fact, I love you guys. Oh, that's so awesome. Thank you. No, he he really he doesn't. I've he, we've been here for years. Not put on one drop of anything that smells good. <laughs> and see, yeah. I think he's been spraying like spreading sulfur and Dude, a fecal I took a shower today, man. Oh. Took a shower. We're yes. very thankful. Ooh. We're yeah. very thankful. Well, you know, you got to. It's some forty-one in here. You don't have to uh, shower for. They're in here last night. <laughs> oh, but I don't think they care. The Don is you take a you take a shower and not only take a quick shower you don't take a rinse off I'm late for work shower you take that I may get laid shower. Oh, well, not, oh wow! Not, not that they not may. That they, not that's that they the may. guy's head. Yeah, that's right. the guy's head. So. Right. Guys have two showers. Too bad our fans don't think like that. Well, <laughs> the male fans. True. Yeah. Well, they're trying to be hardcore. Yeah, yeah, I mean all. they're trying to be more rock and roll. Yeah, yeah. Right. 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 Part part of uh, sort of having you guys make them have an edge. It's true. Yeah. Uh, the Don has got themselves a uh, CD out. We're going to hear a couple of songs off it called Gold Medal, and uh, it is out as we speak, of course. Also, you guys are going to Europe. When? Well, actually, in January, we're going to Japan and Australia. Ooh. Wow. And then Europe. we go to Europe. Oh, wow. so, And Europe after that. Yeah. No, it's... Yeah. Hey, how, you know, I imagine you've been there a number of times. We have. Yes? Is yes. it cool? Yeah. Yeah. You don't have time to see stuff? And well, this time bit? in Australia, That's we have true. a lot more. It's it's this thing called Big Day Out. It's a big tour they do every year, and it has a lot of days off because the distances are so far mm. to drive. Who, so. who, what, what country or what land is into the girl band phenom <laughs> the most? Is it Japan uh, or is it Europe? Is it's it the United about, States? It's more about finding the place. That, it's not that they're into girl bands, mm -hmm. that, but they ha just have to be more accepting. Right. Yeah. And I, think of you more as just a band. And Australia is really good. They love oh, they rock are. and roll there. Yeah, so they that's, do, that's, and they, yeah. they like our kind of music, and yeah. they don't seem to mind as much. They don't bring as much attention to the the fact that we're females. Right, I know that it was sort of you know mildly condescending. No, 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 <laughs> not at all. So that's much how window dressing, but I just mean <laughs> it's it, the it, world we live in. I would think it's like true. Australia. I would think of them as being a more chauvinistic. You would, land. but they're actually really they're friendly. I mean, they're rowdy. The rowdy. They're rowdy, Don't get but me they're wrong. not as offensive, and they—they're definitely not as sexist, at least not to our faces, as some other. Right. Oh, really? They just want to like party. Uh, yeah. Germany, there are a lot of oh, yeah. a lot of dudes yeah. that you can tell are just there. Yeah, Adam's, Adam's, Adam's not done with Germany. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of Frank, no. a lot of Frank comments. Sister <laughs> yeah, a lot of guys with the crazy frames on their glasses yeah. and funky sandals, <laughs> Body sitting suits. there and judging. Yeah. Uh, wanting underwear in their or chins. Something. Yeah. Oh. No, yeah, okay. no, I'm not done with those people. Uh, oh, I got a plan for those people. Really? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can't talk about it, but we're not not done. No. You think we're done? We're not You're done not, with them. I'm not. not done. Never done. Not done. <laughs> and, and all right, so and you know, here's the thing about Australia. My, my take on Australia is like you'd want to party with an Australian guy for a couple of weeks, but you don't right. want to marry him. No? I no. don't know. No, I... I he won't I, live oh, to sorry. 40. He'd be killed by an alligator, <laughs> drive alcoholism, yeah. one or the other. Both. Right. Rattlesnake. Oh, wait a right. minute. Here's Talk the thing. Uh, the alligator eats him and dies of alcohol. Oh, there you go. There's so much alcohol. There's a state of that in Australia, I'm telling you. It's true. They yeah, do go you, crazy. You want to marry an Australian? <laughs> uh, they're they're not. does, I think. Uh, 
there are some really cute guys They're down there. They're cute. That's know. why you got to party with okay, them. Okay, you and then you got to go home. You ring them, bring them like a bar <laughs> rag and then cast them aside. Okay, well, and then okay. serve the everybody else in the crew with all the alcohol you get. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm saying have Oops. a good time, have your kicks, right. you know, and then it's time to move on. Okay. Marry a nice uh, guy from like um, Ohio. Ohio is wow. that the state that, was a good that state. I need yeah, to go just, there? Settle that's in. True. Imagine Settle we're in. looking there. I know. That's, that's a long haul guy. Ohio, <laughs> but that's okay. not punk or rock and roll. What are you talking about getting married? Yeah. Well, 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 you? I, I, I said that. that. Yeah. How dare you? Yeah, that was Adam. On? I'm was just me. learning from anything. Adam right now. That's right. You know, just letting him, you know. Give or, or the actually, wisdom. Chris, where are you from? There's a, there's a place you should settle down. Yeah, I'm from Hawaii. Wait, I'm from Hawaii. That's what he said. That's right. It's it's an island. I'm turning my mic off. It's oh, a, it's no. A, no turn, yes, yes. Yeah, there's an island in the Pacific where they grow corn, and uh, they have a great basketball. Well, we, love, we love corn. Yeah. Well, look, so. I'm, I'm just saying, is any, are any of the Donnas married? Is anyone getting married? No, but I was married. Oh, you were? No, no joke, yeah. Done. So I, I'm divorced, yes. Yeah. We, you, you, you've been in the Donnas for like 10 years, right? Yeah. So you're, you're probably 24. married in the Donnas. 25, and I was married, yes, I was married uh, when I was about 21. Mm. Yeah, it just, is and we it broke up about didn't work, a year the rock and, and roll thing? Uh, no, well, he, he got to travel with us, actually. He oh, he was, did? He worked oh. with us. The but it was more, it was just, that. we were more, <laughs> no. I just felt that we were more like friends. and Didn't work. Yeah. Right. Some but, things but just don't work out. Her number went up. Your number went up. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. Uh, no, everybody, uh, you know, everybody always says, oh, don't get married young, blah, blah, blah. But right. it was more like, you know, we've met, we've met That's a lot it. of guys that you you would not want to marry and you yeah. don't, he can't trust. From Australia. He was someone, <laughs> he was someone that I could trust. So that's kind of the reason behind it. it was, was he like a tech guy? Yeah, well, guy? He, he, yeah, he was, he was originally sort of a sound guy for us. Mm -hmm. but he also you're, you're looking for refuge. You're just sort of looking for a... I just like having that can be attractive, yeah. but we're more like best friends. Secure. Right. We're still friends, but to me, that's not. I guess that's not something you're married for. Right. You know? Right. Took right. a while to figure that out, but it's right. not that bad. But yes, it's not very rock and roll. A lot of people <laughs> are not into it. A lot you of gotta, people are very you supportive have, of it. You gotta have passion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Drew over here, right. passionate man. I I know that. Exquisitely passionate. You know that. You know yes. That? I mean, I. I well, I mean, I mean, I mean, the show, yes, he's very passionate. I could tell. Yes, you, you can know. see about that, right? some things. Yes, yes, oh, about yeah. health and no, 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 getting people aware <laughs> no, of things. I'm talking, I'm talking, that's what we're talking. No. Right? Yeah, I mean, I've heard the show. Come yeah. on. No, he's passionate about passion. Okay, yes. you know what I'm saying. Well, we are too. Our whole band. We're actually really, <laughs> really pretty passionate. hopeless, passionate, romantic women. Type women and you guys will get more passionate as the yeah, years yeah. as we get older. Testosterone levels go up. Yeah. Oh. Yes, you'll never match Drew's no. passion. Never. <laughs> you, you take all the Donna. They could bring one of those Australian in guys, though. Maybe get no, it would never add up to, to one eyedropper of what oh, you got gosh. in you, Drew. That's a shame. He's that passionate. That's nice. That's, awesome. That's something that girls look for. They do. Yes. And then it's once they find quality. it, they're <laughs> sorry. Yeah. <laughs> You it's get, true. There's a fine line between you get uh, hit with a title yeah. of passion. <laughs> it's really. Sad. I do feel bad for men in that way. But yeah, you right. You can be you can, preoccupied. It's very well that it's mm. either like they're really, really, really touchy feely, and it drives you crazy and it makes you sick. Right. Or they're just not enough and they don't do it. You know. Yeah. It's hard yeah. to find. It's hard that, to find no between. They have the to balance. read minds and know what you oh, want yeah. all the time. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe, maybe. And guys that do that are only pretending they it's do that. Right. Right. All right. Okay, that's, well, those guys we don't trust. Let's, <laughs> let's bring up uh, the mystery. Yeah, yeah. Uh, angle here, which what? is well, <laughs> Drew, we've angle. talked we've talked about this like <laughs> throughout history. All the greats have had a mistress. All the all the males. Yeah, see what I'm saying? And we've talked about it candidly before. Yes, even a passionate man has candid uh, thoughts. And you were saying that uh, some of these relationships went on as long as they did historically because the guys got a little. Well, they had a mistress. They, well, they, kept they, a mistress. they tend to separate wife from lover. Those are two different roles. Yeah, you know what I mean. The, no, I'm back just. In the day. I, I'm just saying. Uh, ha most of marriages, it seems like, break up in you know year number four. If it, it, that yeah, balance is tough to find, mm -hmm. but you got the mistress, you can dial in the balance. Oh, I see. You're, you see so what you're I'm making saying? a case. You're, you're, Lynette, hey, you listening? Up. Adam's wife, Lynette, you listening? <laughs> I'm just, building a case. I'm, right. I'm just saying, if you have a mistress, you know, I, I, save I, the marriage. Do you think they would go on longer? And here's the other thing no, too. No, I don't at all. <laughs> all right, all right, but wait, here's our, okay, but okay, okay, but what about this one? What about this one, Weisenheimer? <laughs> Power, what about you know what happens to powerful men? 
powerful men get in a relationship, the uh, at, the uh, testosterone mm-hmm. gets flowing. All of a sudden, women are talking to them. They right. think they can do better. Right. They break up very yes. quickly. We were like, just talking these about right. this situation. Male. It's yeah. easy. I mean, look, here, here's, here's the reality. These girls really love to steal men away yeah. from a happy relationship. And, 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 women and, love to do that. Not all women. Why? And it's not. That's well, oh, I don't genes. relate, it's but there genes. are women out there. It's in the genes. There are women out there that really find it exciting to try and get a guy even if it's just for like one night just but to hold, get his attention but you don't need you don't moment. need any incentive to get brad pitt he's rich he's great looking <laughs> you, you know what i mean it's like you're not doing it to screw over uh jennifer, jennifer. well some women i think would they well, might want that happy it makes it more exciting they hate each other they i know women women other. hate each other no. but okay i don't know it's true. the point is, is you don't need incentive to uh, lay down with brad pitt <laughs> he's, he's, I'd do the guy. Come oh, yeah. On. Okay. 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 Saying yes. Well, you yes. don't get it once. So all I'm saying is, is if, if uh, Brad Pitt, he's uh, rich, he's powerful, all of a sudden the passion starts to drain out of the uh, relationship, or maybe she has a couple of kids or something. I'm just saying. He stays in the relationship with the I'm mistress. I'm telling you the upfront choice is, is the is the trick and all that. you got to make the right choice up front. Right, you got to prepare for all that. You understand all that. Right, then you don't need the mistress. All right, but what if so many so many guys don't make the right upfront choice? You know, they don't get hooked then, up then with the right be person. Unhappy relationships. They really. But are. you give them the mistress, the thing goes for thirty five years. It's still an empty relationship. Really you are is. very passionate about I'm, this. I'm, act. He's building a case. <laughs> I know. I hear that. No, Drew, you know what I'm talking about historically. No, I, I understand, but I think those were a really different times. I think the quality of the relationship was something people who actually expected something different from a we asked less mm. of a relationship then we asked that was more of a business relationship right. All right. Business. well maybe we should tone it down now in the expectation <laughs> world the case. let's Go bring it case. down <laughs> all right I'm everyone, just let's just ratchet it down a little with the expectations <laughs> maybe that's it maybe everyone thinks you're supposed to be love and well, lust and passion all that. the way through you know there's 40 discussion years discussion about what that all means all right let's all lower our expectations okay. just a little yeah. bit so adam can have a mistress yes. okay right. all right no well, don't need one. <laughs> oh, well listen Lower the expectations. Oh, so you can just turn then, your engine off. No pressure. Yeah. I'll just, I'll, <laughs> you can go to sleep and I'll masturbate. Put, put, parachute over me. I'll be out in the garage. <laughs> yeah. All right, oh, everyone. My. The Donnas. They agree. We'll, uh, <laughs> what are we doing? We're taking some calls. Yeah, that'd be good. Uh, Take right. a couple calls for us on the Donnas uh, tonight. Are going to be on the uh, on Spike on the uh, Video Game Award. Yeah. Yep. Yes. You're accepting award. No, award? we presented, presented an award with Frankie Muniz. Yes. Oh. Mm. Yes. How did Viewers get, Choice. They get a lot of a lot of nice uh, names at this thing. Yeah. There Actually, were there people. were a lot of big stars. Are they so paying we were surprised. them? Surprised. Yeah. Oh. We didn't get paid, but Snoop Dogg, was, <laughs> no. Snoop Dogg was like the main, like one of the hosts. Right. Yeah, he was the host. And there were all kinds of people. Tara Reid. Was he wearing animal skin? An animal fur? Was that he, a real was, fur? I don't, I don't know. know if it was we weren't fur. that close. I kept but it thinking was somebody's going to come throw blood on that. Jacket. Yeah. See, yeah. I'm a fan of the fake fur because a lot of people, a lot of activists don't agree. But I think if you can do that, it kind of makes people go, oh, yeah, I can get that look. They don't like the fake fur? No, no, no. Actually, it's promoting. A the, well, a lot of the big ones, like PETA, I think, actually is into fake fur. Oh, you would. Because it mm-hmm. makes it's an alternative the more extreme for people. people. But then there are other people that are like against it because it just makes the look mm-hmm. popular. Mm-hmm. It perpetuates so, Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. But to, to me, I think it's better to have the alternative. It's mm. the same with like meat right. substitute if you're yeah. not going to eat meat. Right. But you Why create not? like something that tastes like a burger. No, I, I I agree. And uh, also, <laughs> as far as throwing the paint on it, they don't they don't mess with the brothers. Uh-oh. A because <laughs> the people have suffered long enough, and B they'll and get there was shot. a metal detector. Yeah, they, uh, there were many, but metal it didn't detectors. work. I went through it twice, and I went off only once with your gun belt. and everything. It was, <laughs> it was my belt, and and I I was like, I didn't go off before. He was like, Yeah, you did, and I was like, No, not in the other one. And he was like, Oh, whatever. He didn't believe me. I was like, I'm glad they work. Things could have gotten. It's good crazy. thing they both work because. Yeah. Do you, do you think the terrorists know that we have the 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 bottom rung of the sort of intelligence <laughs> level working at security? Yes. Do you think they're aware of that? They must well, if they they've gone that? in an I airport, they, they would know. They would know. <laughs> I think You're that's right. a big, a big, uh, yeah. We yep. fly a, a lot, reason. and the inconsistency Very is just We fly like all every day. And really? Yeah. yeah. And they want you to keep your ticket out when you go through, and then they the, don't want you to keep it The great thing is when you go to Waterloo, Iowa, you, they have to disrobe. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. There's well, nobody there. there you know, they take it very seriously. Security guard and you. Yeah. You know but LA, uh, just you know, yeah, what, you know what airports yeah. are like? They're like they're like casinos, <laughs> which is you, when you get used to playing 21 at one and, you know, hit, this means yeah. hold, this means right. raise, and then you go to another one and they get pissed. They're like, no, no, don't yeah, touch the Yeah, they get really okay. No, put the thing on it. It's yeah. like, you guys do it differently than my yeah, airport. Exactly. <laughs> you guys can't get on the same goddamn page. I, know, so I actually smart. tell them, like, they don't like when you talk to them. Usually I'm always like, well, this isn't how they do it at this airport. Or right. They, they, all, they don't you care. should all get on the same page here. Right. On mm -hmm. on the flight to oh, New York, you keep too. your shoes on. On the flight out, yeah, take exactly. the shoes you off. You be a delight going to the airport. To get the airport. <laughs> <laughs> I get air rage. Do I, I do, too. Yeah. yeah. I get land rage, too. I get sea rage. You just rage talk to your bandmates. Just talk to them. Talk, talk. On the plane? On the plane. You tell them about your childhood. Uh, your I try. I talk. try to. I try to watch like my. I bring my computer. She watch needs. DVDs, but I can't sleep that. if that's can't what you mean. Sleep. I don't sleep. Talk. I no, have no. or a mag. I have to do flying. something. You two should fly together. Yeah. Fly together. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Where do you want to go? Let's go. Uh, Hawaii. Or whatever. Hawaii. Yeah. Where did he say he was from? Hawaii. Oh Hawaii. Oh Hawaii. Oh, Hawaii. Oh, Hawaii. <laughs> Listen. Let's blow this taco stand. Woo! You. Uh, you two blondes can or uh, formerly blondes uh, can. Uh, <laughs> Uh, well, I'm talking to Drew. Can uh, hang out and do it. Uh, right. We'll uh, enjoy. We'll go to Hawaii. <laughs> oh, you're so Hawaii. All right. Cool. Okay. Let's yeah. take some phone calls. Yeah, please. Let's yeah. Go. Yeah. Let's go. Go. Let's break, break it down. It down. Come on. We're, We're ready. ready. Woo. You guys ready? We're all yeah. gonna clap. All right. All right. Ashley. Yes. What's up? Hi. Um, my question is, I used to have a very strong sex drive. And then I started taking the pill, and I got very sick from it. The estrogen just didn't work with my body. I got very nauseated. And um, I lost my sex drive completely. So I went off the pill again and expecting my sex drive to come back, and it hasn't. Hmm. And that I was just wondering if that has anything to do with taking the pill or if there's something else going on. Is there anything else going on? Have you been depressed? Is there anything else no? we should know? Mm -mm. You know, I think it could be. I, I don't have a way to really substantiate that with science, but I've noticed that, for instance, after pregnancy, women, when they've had a tremendous progesterone load of the placenta, they'll have decreased libido sex drive for a long time afterwards, and sometimes they kind of need to be kick-started biologically. That's where I come in. That's where Adam comes in. <laughs> yeah, but, but I, I, I instance, just get them started, though. I don't finish. You really need to talk to your doctor about this, whether I'm it's a using something with it, it may be the progesterone and not Spark the estrogen plug, that really me. shuts you down um, and there's maybe also a different yeah. they made a new pill called the orthotricycline low, low that has yeah. really low estrogen so well that it's but i think her estrogen wasn't the problem oh, i think, I think it's the progesterone is that problems. that commercial with all those hot chicks dancing around <laughs> no that's the one where that's you have your period Ever. like just close four to beating times off every time i see that commercial <laughs> oh, you know wow. that commercial we don't we are really against beating off commercials no <laughs> We're this really close. against. I'm really against feminine commercials. Oh, those are ridiculous. But they're, they're on all over the because place because they're retarded. Yeah. I, they're yeah. so embarrassing. It, it, it's just not fair. That, you don't see hemorrhoid commercials all over the place. It's no, true. It's well, except for on like sports. They're channels. like three minutes long, and they have super foxy chicks just doing like ballet and dancing out in the <laughs> in the woods noticed. and stuff. I change yeah. the channel like right away. Well, let me say this about about you women. Oh gosh. Oh, hold on. Let's get this. Yeah, we're actually. I know. Ashley has right, a problem. She's up. fine. She's fine. You guys, you guys do get a lot of crappy commercials. But it's it, true. if there's if there's ever a commercial that has a guy and a woman, the guy is always the idiot. Or, or, yeah, he's sort of a passive, uh, little soft. I like those. Yeah. they're very true to life. Here's the, here's the thing. Put, put it this way: the woman is never sick, and the guy taking care of her. Right. It's always oh, the guy yeah. who's oh, sick, true. and yeah. the woman's taking care of her. And whenever the woman leaves town and the guy has to try to make breakfast Can't for the kids, <laughs> I literally I saw one. He, he was, makes a hot dog or you know, something. He, he was defecating in a toaster oven. <laughs> he actually defecated. I have I not saw seen that one. I, saw that one. I did. Saw I saw that one. It. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, guys, nuts burned, right? Right. I mean, while well, the guy's probably uh, electrical engineer doing, right. at the high security level, <laughs> working at <the> Lockheed <laughs> Skunk Works or right. something, he has can't such make a retard. Breakfast. Yes, I'm saying uh, yes. You, you can portray guys as idiots in commercials and society turns a blind eye to it. But they, the problem with that is that then it kind of shows that women can only make breakfast. Ooh. Right? Uh -huh. If you turn it around that way. Uh -huh. I'd say they do lunch, too. Oh, okay. Like wow. lunch. <laughs> so much credit. I wouldn't trust them with dinner, a crock pot. <laughs> you gotta go so, out. That's you gotta go out to Yeah, dinner. go out for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ash, Ash, what about you need, Ashley? You need to talk Come to a gynecologist, on, or you maybe perhaps an endocrinologist about 
finding, a, it, I really suspect they might need to put you back on a birth control pill with the mm -hmm. right combination to get you going again. Uh, believe it or not, I think that's what needs to be done. What is that commercial with the hot chicks? <laughs> oh, it's a herpes commercial. Oh, or oh, the so kickboxing. Yeah, it's <laughs> no, awesome. No, it's the one for the pill where you get it. You get your period like four times a year. Oh, is that what it only. is? Only. Yeah. So it's like hot chicks. I don't remember dancing. the name of it. And one of every color. And they're like no, spinning they're around in like big dresses. There's like big these dress. red. Oh, and what I hate are the red dots and the red circles. <laughs> that's, that's painting and things. Outlaw. It's very comfortable Outlaw sitting with that. my 12 year old. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. Oh, God. All right. Well, listen, as long as we're getting in these commercials, what about the one where that uh, Noid uh, crawls under the uh, toenail, lifts the oh, yeah. toenail oh. up like a hatch, and dives I haven't seen that under, fungus, under it. Fungus. That must be on men's. On <laughs> no, it's no, not, I, I it's not regular. It's repugnant. Yeah. It's like yeah. he actually lifts a an infected toenail, like yeah. he's oh. lifting, oh. like he's lifting car a hatch, lift. and like a hood, tr uh, yeah, uh, hood of a car, yeah. just and no. then he just hops <laughs> into the infected <laughs> toe. It's rich. It's repugnant. Bro. It's disgusting. Well, we can all look forward to thickened fungus infected toenails as we age. Oh, really? You don't know that. Is that Ooh. true? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Bummer. Why Why does your toenails get thicker? Who needs it's that? fungus. The fungus. It's fungus? Yeah. Oh, it's right. just... I'm good. You know, I, I, <laughs> I could use a cuticle push, though. Yeah? Charlie? Charlie. Charlie yeah, you're yeah. 24. What's up? Okay. Um, I've been with the same guy for about four months now. Mm -hmm. uh, we've both been tested from the doctor. Um he had some genital warts removed about 10 years ago, and he's never had a reoccurrence, and he's not showing or testing positive for them anymore. Interesting, interesting. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, after about three weeks of intercourse, maybe like three or four times a day most of the time, um, I started having some abrasions in the vulva, the inner labia area. No kidding. Yeah, um, wore it off. <laughs> yeah, just three or four times. Huh? Besides having intercourse less, he does have... A large penis. He does have um, okay. a very prominent Corona flare. Um, so I've been wondering. Flare. If the translation. One of the greatest light beers uh, Mexico has ever created. The Corona flare. <laughs> Delightful. It's a, it's a, it's a firework. <laughs> <laughs> corona flare is the. Is that the head of the penis? Is that the. A translation? Mushroom. Yes. Mushroom. Mushroom. Wow. They call it wow. the Corona flare. Mm -hmm. She does. Mm -hmm. Nice. Very lucky girl. And <laughs> yeah, guys, she's raping you with a plunger four times a day. It's exciting. <laughs> See, why does that hurt? Yeah. Why promise. do you have pain, Charlie? I don't understand. You got to push through. You, aren't, you mean you aren't made out of latex? That, that, that's why. That's why she has to limit herself to four times a right, day. I you understand, know? of course. This guy didn't Charlie, have such a predominant Corona flare. Drew, I want you to check mine when we go Guys to the bathroom. Guys love talking about Corona. I, 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 <laughs> I, know, I, 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 I want you to check not mine and see if mine's uh, pro pronounced or not. No, yours is a little weak. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, you just seen it when it was tired. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie? Yes. All right. No, I haven't gotten over that last one. <laughs> I think if I use if I can twist a pipe cleaner in the right place, I can get a little a few millimeters out of it. Flare? Yeah, a little yeah. more flare out of my corona. So Charlie, what's the question? Of course, you've you've irritated yourself. You've eroded something. I mean, take, you're gonna have to take a week off, probably. Well, we, we've tried taking a few weeks off here and there, and I'll heal up, and then it's just like after one more time. It's it's back in full force. All right. Well, here, first of all, you alluded to the herp, the the uh, wart thing that that you're taking a risk having sex with them because even though the warts are gone, he may and still it, have the virus. And yes, indeed, there are certain percentage of the wart viruses that would have vanished after about ten years. So it's probably okay. But you are taking a finite risk with that. The warts do not cause pain, so you wouldn't be getting irritation from that. It's probably just your guys' mechanics together, and you're gonna have to kind of work on finding something that doesn't uh, keep reproducing that spot of irritation. The flare. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you could soften the flare by uh, wrapping flare. some duct tape around it or yeah, something. The, take a little take light it down. It. Yeah, take, yeah, the, flare take down. the flare down a couple of notches. <laughs> They're sort of like an aileron. Uh, <laughs> the hatch is down. Yeah, it, oh, it, 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 it reminds me of a uh, dog that's been left on the grill too long when they bust they open. Split open. They yeah. Yeah, 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 that's not good. Oh, that's disgusting. Yeah, wow. nobody needs it. Okay. First Just off, vomit. Nobody likes to show off. You know what I'm saying? Start some group for guys who have like inadequate Corona flares. What do we call a new band? Next boy band. Corona, corona flares. flares. Wow, They're awesome. Yeah, there you go. Uh, <laughs> these guys just puke too. Drew, did you know the Corona flare? I, I've been here for almost ten years. No, I never heard never of that. I think she kind of, kind of. That was her she thing. Made her own. I, it, probably nature. she found something on the web that referred to it that way. I knew what she was talking about. Right. We cer it's, she certainly painted a picture. Yes, she did. <laughs> the Donna's uh, in uh, studio tonight.
We're going to hear something off the uh, CD, Gold Medal. Tori and Allison uh, in. We will uh, take ourselves a, a quick break, and we'll be right back for some Germany or Florida. Oh, yes. After, Germany. Oh, this You'll is going to be huge. Oh. Huge. Followed by Accordion Countdown. Whoa! Oh, wow! Oh, Whoa. That's Can't a show. Wait. That's a ton of show. That's amazing. <laughs> All that after this. Aces Ranchero Countdown. No good. You don't like that game. <laughs> Hey, everybody, it's the Love Line. I'm Adam. That's Dr. Drew. Phone number 1 800 LOVE 191. Donna's in here tonight. The Donna's, that is Tori and Allison in. Brett and Maya coming in. Uh, Papa Roach in here on uh, Thursday night. Donna's. Uh, we just saw them. Yes. Oh, they, they did the Spike TV yeah, thing? Yeah, everybody the was there. Yeah, so did wow. they hawk on people? No. Oh. On Sunday night at the Christmas here in Los Angeles, they were were they not? Just were they they, oh, there was, there was a couple no. loogies. <laughs> I gotta Why? tell you this. I know. Listen, I'm that way too. And 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 here's the thing. Unacceptable. Let me tell you something about me and the ladies. Okay. Um, we we both are grossed out by the loogies. I think we you part, and the ladies. I mean the ladies. Can I join I, you? I with think that? in Drew too, no. but okay. I think I think where we part ways is the gas. The gas. I think right. that's where we part ways. But that's fine. At least we found some common ground on Loogie Island. Well, because yeah. I find it disgusting. And I've said this many times you're understand about rather be urinated on. Oh yes. No, I'm do it. Okay. Wow. I'm saying do it now. <laughs> someone <laughs> I would rather someone be urinated actually, on. Someone actually urinated on our tour manager's foot the student that band true. in australia in australia I told you but he was uh, british yeah, Interesting. I knew you were going to say that. But he, but he, they were all but British our tour right? manager <laughs> threw him through a glass, like one of those shower doors. That really? Glass. Really? He was so angry. So he couldn't take it. To him, that's like the worst thing you could do. It was like watching bears or yeah. wild animals, you know, yeah. like. Yeah, I well, but he peed on him and he threw him through a shower. But better that's he, what happens he, to you, I guess. I would rather be I would rather be urinated on yeah. than loogie to pond. Yes, loogie is not him. okay. Spewed him, spewed him, and loogie spewed him. That's that's big loogies coming out. Someone, yeah. someone oh. in our oh. band has been up. has been spread. Brett, Brett, someone. Yeah. Hawked a loogie. Giving us the thumbs really? up. Yeah, on, um, no. on her pants. Recently, and it actually, right? Recently. It left a stain. Yeah. It, it, it was oh. disgusting. No, it is. That's, Why that's, did they do that? I don't even know. Unacceptable. Yeah, she, it's, it's DNA disgusting. for life. Yeah. It never goes away. And, oh. and, and the Papa Roach was spraying that ass all over the. the yeah, let's hope wow. there's a loogie oh. in here. Yeah, they were loogie. <laughs> that's rough. Yeah. No. And by the way, they're I can't They're very nice loogies. to us. Though. Yeah, thank God they, oh, they're nice guys. they didn't they're nice spin guys. us. Yeah. They just like the loogies. They're gracious <laughs> loogiers. It's because they're from Vacaville. Yeah. They're from where? Exactly. What, where is that? <laughs> where is that? It's, it's in north, Northern right? California, but I've never been there. We're no. from Northern California, yeah. but it's just Where are you guys from? We grew up in Palo Alto. Nice. Oh. Bay Area. You teach your, your parents all teach at Stanford? Actually, uh, uh, Maya's parents, both of them are professors there, but... Or have been, but the, we all moved there from other places. None of us were born there. So from where? Uh, I was from San Francisco, and I was from here, from Hollywood. Mm. Hmm. And, uh, it seems Palo Alto seems like a very sane place mm. to grow up. Mm -hmm. A little too. Yeah, you had to lash out. We had to have a band. <laughs> right. you, really. but you were also sort of San Jose was sort of doing its thing then too when you were growing up. Yeah, well, I went to San Jose a lot, and then yeah, yeah well, yeah. it sort of took over yeah. and seeped in during high school. It's yeah. high school was when. Like everything started getting torn down, and they're yeah. putting up all these big ugly silicon chains. Yeah. And right. Uh, Starbucks took over the local yeah. coffee. You know, it just turned into a weird Silicon Valley. Like it's just just like any other town. But before it was cool. It was Did the cool Donnas get together in high school? Middle uh, school. Middle, yeah, thirteen. Middle school. Eighth grade. We were 13. When did you guys? How old were you guys when you played your first gig, or just first? Thirteen and fourteen. It was yeah. like the really? end of eighth grade. Mm -hmm. So. Some uh, school thing or some a yeah, party? Yeah, it or was what? at school. Uh, the, one of the PE teachers actually was, he was really excited. There were so many rock bands at the school. Really? There were like three or four other bands besides our band. And he invited us and the other bands to play at lunchtime. He wanted to put on like a wow. like an outdoor yeah. concert Exciting. series of the bands at the school. It was very exciting. It was nice of him. Yeah. Do you remember what song you played? Did you cover we a song? We played cover songs, but Four they, of them. they weren't famous. We played oh, really? songs that like people wouldn't know. And, so and no one like at our school knew yeah. them. <laughs> yeah. What bands did you pick? Uh, L7. We liked L7 because they were yeah. a girl band. Yeah. Yeah. Shonen Knife. Shonen Knife, who were a girl band from Japan. Sister's sister. And, yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember yeah. the oh, people from uh, Bananarama. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure. Love Bananarama. 
And uh, yeah, we play those songs and nobody knew them. Yeah, we only like, thought they were our songs. We should get L Seven in here. We, <gasps> it's been a while. They're, they're, yeah. They've been on a bunch of times. They're the brassy. Awesome. I love yes. them. Brassy. They're awesome. They're yeah. a big inspiration. You never met Shakespeare's sister. There's another one. No, I wasn't here when they, they uh, still, came in here. Do they still do stuff? I don't know. It's been a long time. Mm-hmm. Anyway, Germany or Florida? Come on. Germany or Florida? Germany. Oh, oh, here's, here's how the game goes. No oh, 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 okay. They they uh, tell us the bizarre story, uh-huh. which uh, either uh, in, it most definitely either emanates from Germany or Florida. Because all bizarre. All right, bizarre I, I would actually yeah. definitely totally agree with that. So we're yeah, going to tell and, them Germany? And, and, and then Florida. we guess. Is it oh, Germany or oh, Florida? Okay, okay a game. Yeah. Exactly. Alex? Hi. You're 24? That's right. You got some Germany or Florida for us? I do. Go ahead. A man has been charged with animal cruelty for allegedly biting his Jack Russell Terrier as punishment. After receiving a complaint, police kicked down the apartment door when they heard an argument and a barking dog. They reported the terrier's left front paw was bloody from a bite. According to an officer, the man said that biting the dog was good punishment, and that's how you train them. The dogs bite, so that's what they understand. Mm-hmm. Man was jailed Saturday on one count each of felony animal cruelty and resisting arrest without violence. Mm-hmm. Resisting arrest, very Florida. I think That's it's Florida, with, but without violence, not so Floridian. Well, the dog training part sounds German. I was going I with Germany it, for a while. I think yeah. it's Florida. He uses too. very little cultural nuance. I well, know. he 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 resisted arrest, but in Florida, it's you know shirt off, yeah, scratches, yeah, yeah, flailing yeah, in the air, throwing right. karate kicks and right, stuff. Right. This is passive resistance. So you're going Germany. I'm going Germany. I'm just going so, Florida. I'm going Florida, Florida too. I'll go Germany. Why All right, not? Here we go. <laughs> All right. So, so Tori and I are, yeah. Ger- are Germany, and Allison Drew, Florida. Oh yes. My goodness. Alex, is it Germany or Florida? The answer is Florida. Oh, oh. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yes, yes. So wow. close, but not yeah, even really. really. Just one off. Good one. <laughs> right, right, Alex. Well done. Thanks, buddy. Well, now that you've broken the young lady's yeah. end, why don't you give them the real, the, the, <clears throat> the gritty game? Aces, Mexican, Ranchero, Accordion Countdown. Yeah, yeah. This is a game ready that's for this. Uh, even okay. some some are calling it bigger than Germany or Florida. <laughs> it, 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 if you can believe I, it, I'm in fact insulted by that. All uh, all ranchero music. The the backbone of ranchero music is uh, nauseating accordion. <laughs> it has to have accordion in it, or it's just not ranchero music. I found it to be almost uh, nonstop throughout ranchero songs. We pick a random ranchero song. We start randomly at any point in the ranchero song. Possibly one of the ones you guys cover in the eighth. Grade. Right, it could be. And uh, we do a countdown. How long? Drew, you get started. You say, how long before you hear the accordion? Two seconds. Two seconds, Drew says. Oh, All right. Okay. Allison, what do you have for me? How long till accordion? Mm-hmm. I say five. Five seconds. Good Four, five seconds. Good. Good. Allison? Um, that was the Tory, right? No, no, no. A Tory. A Tory. Um, that's me. So, uh, oh, what? I get everyone mixed up? Sorry. Okay. I'm going to say... Okay. I'm gonna say Maybe, can I say, it'll start right away? Yes. It'll yes, just yes, be yes, right yes. in there. Zero, no, both, zero second. The accordion's going to start. Adam, Adam. going to be right. But these, these, oh, I these, hope. These, yeah. these two are ringers I played before. Yeah. <laughs> right, Tori goes immediate. Allison goes five. Because well, uh, it's not fair. What if it's like a stop in the song? It could be rigged. You, 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 don't, right. that's you, a, don't, you know. don't know where you're yeah. going to come in. That, that's the thing. When when you roll the Aces the Rancher <laughs> Mexican Accordion Countdown dice, you never know what, what's going to turn up. I, yes, I can't There's wait. more skill than just rolling dice. Come on. <laughs> that's <laughs> true. I'm I'm going uh, seven okay. seconds. I'm going long. Right. Wow. So it's zero, two, five, and seven, right? Zero, oh two, five, right. and uh, seven. The zero, the zero I put uh, immediate. But the, Immediate. Uh, that's right. Immediately. All right, okay. Chris. Six. Are you are five, you poised? I'm ready. Four, three, two, one, go. Two. Oh, oh, oh there's four, four seconds. seconds. Four seconds uh, here. It was, it's wow. a big type game, really. Uh, wow. Red, it's near Redwood City, and they have, yeah. there are many a taco stand that mm-hmm. likes to play this. This is not just taco stand music, sweetie. This is heard in some of the finest establishments across uh, North America. Yes, Drew? Oh, five star hotel. Upscale fine French restaurants. French Riviera. <laughs> Redwood City tacos. Take it anyway. Hey. Yes. They have some really nice taco stands in Redwood City. Tigres del Norte. Come on. Yeah, but not nice enough to play this. That's right. All right. 
Turn it down, Chris. Okay. That's how you play uh, Ace's uh, Mexican <gasps> Ranchero. I like that game. I lost well, twice. Of, of course you like it. You, you we should do that it. for money next time. All, All right. right. All right. <laughs> because you don't, you don't know this could be a grift where uh, <laughs> we basically hustle you guys. Yeah. You lose that's the first true. one. But I think we could get him over there on our side. Oh, Chris. Oh. Like, Chris. Chris. Oh. Listen. I think we could. Of course. Chris. Oh. If, if, if you would uh, kiss him on the shoulder, he would kill me. <laughs> Throw over the T-shirt. He would, he would stab me with a pencil in the no. neck. Oh, yes. You could get him to kill me right now. There's no doubt in my mind. He'd probably like to do it. He'd probably answer like this, gladly. <laughs> or maybe maybe a simple done and done. We huh? have to think about it at yeah. all. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's do I it. think it'd be yes, my queen. All right. Smelling good. <laughs> took, <laughs> took the shower. That's good. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Uh, okay. All right. Talk, but let's talk to Engineer Chris. You should talk to him during the commercial. He's a huge fan. He's, we did, he we a did talk a, a little great. bit. Okay. Yeah. We did talk. We all were right. hanging. Well, then maybe that's huh? Tori, Tori's single, you know. Right. <laughs> well, uh, Allison's newly divorced. That's good. <laughs> I have a boyfriend, though. It's true. Oh, Sorry, I'm used to it. Whatever. Aww. What is this? He's not talking. What is all this weird extra that, sound That's Engineer explain. Anderson. That's Anderson. And you saying you have a boyfriend is really him taking the number two pencil. He's uh, going to stand with. Aww. No, no. He's bursting his bubble. Yeah. He bursts his bubble. Aww, don't yeah. Know. We don't yeah. all have We're boyfriends. So. All right. There you go. <laughs> there you go. All right. We'll take a uh, quick break. Break. Be uh, right back with the Donnas after this. Hey, everybody. It's the Love Line. I'm Adam. That's Dr. Drew. Phone number 1-800-LOVE-191. Brett and Maya in here now from What's the up? Donnas. Hi. Gold medal, name of the uh, CD. I forgot that the Donnas were only staying the first hour because they have to get up early and t get a flight tomorrow morning. And so I screwed up with the song and this and that. I don't. I want to talk to uh, Brett and Maya. after they've left. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah. That's fine. So we don't we, use we your... We promise. Your <laughs> we promise. We'll play it. Cool. Yeah. 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 We love promises. We'll, we'll play No, you'll be listening to it on the uh, in, in your town car on your way back. That's true. Then we can call hour. in if it doesn't happen. Yeah. Be angry. Yeah. <laughs> Venomous. All right. So I think we should take a call. We have some calls uh, for the band, actually, which we've been ignoring. Bill? Hi. Hi. You're 18? Yeah. I, uh, What's up? Question about the Dequervians tendonitis for Tori. Right. She's gone. Tori has Dequervians? Yes. Yeah, can uh, Drew She's talk gone. about that? or? It's just a tendonitis here by the thumb. It's she had surgery. Thing. She's better now. Oh, she She's taking care of herself. Is this from playing, playing the drums? Yeah. 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 She, she used to have this. Last time. Yeah. Yeah. It was called, um, I guess, the technical term for the way she used to play was called the grip of death. <laughs> oh, really? Mm. She didn't, she, Adam. It, Careful. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Your, your coronal flare might be uh, yeah. hey, extinguished. Hey, hey, That's my friend you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. And that's my coronal flare <laughs> you're talking about, Drew. She really right. likes her physical therapy. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I I, I I don't know what you do. You go in you go in and they, they give you exercises and stuff. Yeah, like they that. do like paraffin on her and like weird sonogram. I don't know, she was talking about it the other day. But it's definitely uh definitely from drumming. You wouldn't have it. A, a young that's, woman wouldn't have this anyway, right? You can get it from yeah. typing. Yeah, yeah, but or to, to bad bass. enough but, but she, musicians get certain kinds of hand and finger tendonitis that, that are real serious because they, they have to be treated to keep people performing. It's, mm -hmm. not like, right. it's not like uh, like if you got it, we'd say, well, you put a splint for... Actually, our publicist yeah. has it. it. Yeah. It's common thing. And he's mostly really My out. mom has it, too. Mostly people your mom ages that get it, and you put a little steroid in there and go yeah. away. Mm. He has but it because he had a new baby. Still, oh, really? He got it from, like, changing diapers and... Why? I, I, My which mom is got it from I, doing yoga. I got yoga. carpal tunnel from babies. Really? Because I mean, you're, you're holding, you're, keep, you're keeping your hand frozen, yeah. holding a baby all the time. I can imagine Publicists that. have a, uh, usual, uh, oftentimes a lung disorder from blowing smoke up people's asses, <laughs> I, I, I noticed it. It's called the uh, baby essers lung. Some people... <laughs> <laughs> hey, now. You heard that? No? You heard that? I've heard My something. boyfriend's a publicist. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh. oh. Enemy territory. Couldn't have found just like, a, a, you know, like a neo-Nazi or, <laughs> or somebody respectable. One. He's a nice publicist. He's a good publicist. Head. All right. All right. I guess there's one every once in a while. Yeah. He keeps my secrets. She got him. He's taken. Angela? Hey, guys. You're 21? Yeah. What's up? I wanted to say uh, I hope you guys are all well. And uh, I had a question. Um, when, uh, if you guys were to collaborate with any uh, artist or musician um, in the future, um, if you could pick anybody, who would you pick? And if there was somebody that you would like not want to work with, like who would that be? 
Is this Angela that made the cupcakes? Yes. How are you? <laughs> Hi. This good. cupcakes it's for really good. late over here, though. Oh, I can imagine. <laughs> hey, now. Oh. We ate them, and we're fine. <laughs> is this, oh, is this Angela that didn't make us any cupcakes? Yeah. I remember her, Drew. Remember Poor her? Poor you, because they were good, and they were miniature. Well, we just saw Snoop Dogg um, <laughs> collaborating with Motley Crue, so that it might be fun to collaborate with Snoop Dogg. Yeah. Yeah, that would be great. Good guy. I've been yeah. to his home. I've been to the room where all the magic it? goes on. Uh, uh, no, I got baked. Yeah. And I can't remember <laughs> that much of it. But I remember I was laughing a lot. Thank <laughs> God we filmed it. Yeah. Hey, did cupcakes have some sort of renaissance or something? I'm seeing yes. them now. Yeah, they're everywhere. Like, like here's the thing. Like, cupcakes are some, something I saw up until the age of 9 or 10, and yeah. then they went away, and now they're back. Are they elaborately decorated now, too? Um, yeah, hers were just miniature, which is the huh? best kind. And they're like chocolate yeah. and cream cheese. Yeah. Like, really you know that good. kind with some chocolate chips. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, I'm just saying, I, people are now bringing cupcakes into work and stuff, and I'm like, uh, huh. what, uh, what's next? A pinata? Like, everyone's in their 30s here. It's what do we food nostalgia. For? You know, everyone's depressed, uh, so they just want to be reminded of their childhood. Retro. It's retro. For yeah. Us. Yeah. I'd like, I'd like this nation to focus on pie consumption and get a little bit. I like pie. Get, thank you. Get away from the novelty desserts <laughs> like cupcakes. You gotta, you're licking the wrapper like a goat I know. at the end of the thing. Or once yes. in a while just eating the wrapper. That would just make the wrapper you could eat. Why not? Why I'm not? sure they do have those out there. Of course. It would be easy enough. Just make the eat edible wrapper. Yeah. It's always like that rice tough. paper stuff they put on the weird yeah. 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 Just Work, work something out. Let us eat yeah. the paper. Yeah. It'll make them in the foil yeah. or whatever it is. We should just be able to eat it. Then you'd let them come back. You know, it's like it's like a cheese where you can eat the skin part of the cheese. Yeah, yeah. That's nice. Right. You don't have to futz with it. Right. Yes? <laughs> Yes, Let's except do I've that. noticed a lot of people, finicky people, avoid that. Ooh, I don't like that. But because you don't know if if you should be eating the wax part or not. You can. But, but the some wax cheeses, is fun. It's no you good. can make things out of it, you know. You can yeah. play with it. Yeah. Hold it into Same snowmen. With, uh, you Stuffing. do that with your ear stuff and your body. Oh, sure. Still. sure. <laughs> All right. I'm just saying, I'm, I want someone to come up with a cupcake uh, wrapper yeah. that is edible. Done. Yes? Done. Done? Yeah. Okay. All right. Yes, Your Highness. Let's, uh, who should we, let's get a love line call in here, Drew. Who do you want to talk to? That's one right there. Terrified of dating? All right. Jennifer? Yes. You're 23? I am. What's up? Um, well, I'm calling, I wouldn't say it's like a last resort, but, mm -hmm. um, I've had an issue with By the dating. way, it's a, it's a resounding endorsement of the show. <laughs> I'm calling, this is my last resort. <laughs> I can't yeah. imagine calling a place like this, but yeah, I know. I'm desperate. You've hit bottom, and yeah. you picked up the phone yeah. to call Loveline. Pretty much. Right. Well, well, ever since I was an adolescent, ever since I was old enough to realize that, you know, boys were out there and whatnot, I've, I've had a problem with attracting them, I guess you could say. You mean you over-attract them or under-attract them? I'm sorry? He doesn't attract You don't attract them or you attract them too much? I feel like I don't... Don't attract. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Twenty three right. years old, and I've never been in a serious relationship. Right. Such an effervescent personality, I can't yeah, imagine it. All right. Maybe you should um dye your hair. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that'll do it. That'll do it. Well, no, is this something um, we should know about you. Yeah. That, what uh, What in your estimation is wrong with you? Why wouldn't you attract guys? Well, I think um, probably my 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 biggest problem is I'm insecure. No, no th that's never that bothered guys. Doesn't yeah. bother guys. Yeah. We gotta else? pick one that bothers guys. Yeah. We like insecure. Right. If you're oh. injured, if you're injured, guys are all about it. <laughs> yeah, that's what we want. Okay. We want damaged goods. Who knew? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, that's what we like. We'll pick <laughs> up the pieces. Like me a lot. Then. Yeah, it's it's really just your self esteem is low enough so we can get some on the first day. <laughs> Listen, the, the the male is like a, a lion in the brush watching a herd go by. The right. one straggling at the end. Whoosh, boom. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, we want the good looking zebra the that easy, falls behind. Right. The easy got a, got a bad wheel on it. Yeah, we can eat it. Well, Maybe she likes the wrong kind of guy. I'm telling you that I think that that's my biggest problem. Low self esteem is your biggest L problem. Low self-esteem and insecurity. Since no. Insecurity with how I look, maybe. Ooh, now we're well, getting somewhere. What's the matter with, yeah, what's matter okay. with how you look? Yeah. Maybe what's, you need a makeover. Yeah, what's wrong? what's wrong with how you look? Well, I know objectively that I'm not I'm not a, uh, a dog. <laughs> okay, nothing wrong with you. I definitely, I like your skin. I listen to your show a lot. And I, I'm familiar with the scale, I guess you could say. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, and I have no idea where I fall on that scale. Mm -hmm. I couldn't tell you. I couldn't That's, look at myself. And you don't know. You can't. Feel, you don't. You don't. Uh, 
that's a uh, that's a bad sign, Trev. No, All right. Can... All right. Now, uh, here's the thing. Now, now there is a guy for you. Okay. Don't worry. It's okay. just you may have to uh, lower your number, lower your number, or your expectation level. Okay. It isn't necessarily. Right. Here's the thing, everyone. You, you just people are like. Oh no! Don't settle. No, don't settle. Be realistic. Mm -hmm. Be realistic with the kind of job you should be getting when you're 19 and you have no education. Be realistic with the kind of car you should be driving when uh, you're making uh, 28 grand a year. Do, do and be realistic. Can, be realistic. Yeah. yeah, drive the best version. But y you shouldn't be out looking at a Mercedes if you're making X amount a year. I, ha I hate to be cruel about. It. I'm asking people to be realistic. Yeah. If you're uh, not the uh, greatest uh, looking gal on the planet and your personality isn't the most wonderful either, you got to be looking at uh, you know, like an Ike Turner type, you know, skinny no, black guy. Abusive, who'll be, no. well, wasn't there a thing about that too? Like people that aren't good looking a lot of times are the most critical. Oh, yes. yes. I think there's a sex in the city about that exact right. subject. That's why I'm not critical. Because I'm really hot. <laughs> we have to keep talking about this. All right. All right. Yeah. Donna's here. I, I guess we'll say one, one more, more break. break. One Just more break. one more break. We'll uh, make nice. And Maya's like, oh, uh, no. We'll be, uh, well, after what you said about her publicist boyfriend. Yeah. We'll be. Uh, I thought you said that. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, can't, I don't know the difference between who's talking anymore. Who's talking now, by I don't the way? Know. Hold Let's on. Just go to break. Test one, two. Uh, Is that you? Me. Yeah, it's oh, me. me. All right. We'll be right back after this. Hey, everybody. It's Loveline. I'm Adam. That's Dr. Drew. Phone number 1-800-LOVE-191. Papa Roach in here on Thursday night. Tonight, the beautiful Donna's in studio. Brett and Maya in for Tori and Allison. And the name of the CD is Gold Medal. All right. When we left off, we're speaking to uh, Jennifer, who's 23. Wouldn't give herself a, a nine in the looks department, mm. but... But wouldn't give herself anything else either. Right. You couldn't get a clear picture. I, 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 I think uh, she's not calendar material, but that's fine. Because the lion's share of the women aren't. Mm. And here's the thing, everybody. You get obsessed with the handful of women you see on Entertainment Tonight or these crappy magazines. But 95% of the country is uh, no better looking than you are. And they manage to get married and have relationships and uh, crap out kids. The... the the mistake people make is they begin to think that what they see on TV and a magazine is normal. Right. It's not normal. No. Those that's people are like anorexic normal. and airbrushed but, but, wearing all right. makeup. And they look right. scary in person, but, too. We saw them tonight. But if yes. you yeah, for, forget, if yes. forget their, their actual demeanor, what they have to do to sort of attain what they look like. The fact is, even if they were perfectly healthy and look like that, that represents a tiny, itsy-bitsy little percentage of what the human appearance is normally like. Right. It's not normative. That's right. We can't all look like you, Adam. No, we can't. It's tough. It's, it's not unrealistic. Hey, I, I, even I can't look like me, okay? <laughs> God knows I'd like to. Yes, Drew? God knows you would. I have a very pronounced uh, corona, corona flare. flare. <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer? Yes. All right. So uh, you, your uh, self-esteem is uh, low? Yeah. Uh, you have yeah. a bad attitude. Uh, now, do you have any problem with men? Has your uh, father abandoned you, evil stepdad, anything like that? No, I have. I actually have a wonderful father, but um, he's not mind. from America. Mm -mm. <laughs> so That's trouble. Been a cultural barrier, and so we uh -oh. always had problems and stuff growing up. Where's he from? Um, I'd rather not say. It might give too much. Give us is it well, Asia. Oh, no, 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 no. Cuba. Uh, hold on. Um, You're going to have to tell us exactly okay, where it's okay. from. I will hang um, up on your ass. Well, <laughs> Russia. Oh, 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 that's huge. Well, who cares? <laughs> so it's a little well, different. And, well, yeah. it's because there's some. Uh, re it complicates things when you're growing up. <clears throat> having a Russian father. Does he drink well, a lot of vodka? I mean, and, no, not necessarily because he's Russian, but because he's not American. So Has he beaten you down to the point where you're afraid to be social? Oh, okay, besides the fact that he's not American, he was also a very critical father. Right. Has he beaten you down to the point that you're fearful of having any kind of social interaction? I don't... I don't know. I don't think so. I mean, he... he I had some... He was physically abusive a little bit. A well, little hold bit. on. He went from uh, Dad of the Year. Yeah. Eastern Bloc Dad of the Bill Year Cosby. to uh, beating on me 
He's a verbally abusive. Uh, I, uh, she was saying what a great relationship she had. Because she great loves guy him. Was. She's I, trying to protect him. I know, but she let, wants him to like her. That's an yeah. Idol. Let's just let's just call a spade a spade here, though. He's physically abusive, yeah. and uh, he's but not then doing again, much think for self esteem. Before you yes. get back to Jennifer, that would though make Jennifer merely go after abusive a holes. Yes, that that's true. That wouldn't make her not have relationships, right? So that still isn't the answer yet, Jennifer. Yes. All right. So he didn't make you feel like you were a princess. Well, but yeah. He, okay. He's, oh, no. Okay. Go ahead. Make him. He's go very, ahead and blame always, him a little bit. That's fine. Very, he was very, very critical. Very critical. Okay. He always says I was growing up, but okay. He, so I didn't make you feel good about everything yourself. I wanted. Always gave me everything I wanted. Always was. I mean, provided for me. All right. All me. right. But he, he he damaged your self esteem. Yes. yes. Okay. And uh, if you ever had a boyfriend? Not. I've been involved. I was involved with somebody for about two and a half years, but it was never official. He never would allow me to make it official. Mm. I mean, we slept that fits. together that frequently. Fits. Yeah. And, yeah. And, well, did you have sex? Yes. Uh, yeah. Two and a half that years was, he was, was able to string that along. Was, yeah. Lucky What's guy. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that fits. Now, that, that fits. Nothing official. I like this guy. He's like, oh. He's the best of all worlds. Yeah, we're still trying to we're, hold up with the paperwork. We yeah. still got some of that to go through. Well, the stuff, it needs, we need to, uh, we need, we, some of it needs, well, to, be, she, needs to be notarized, be notar republic, uh, some of it has card. to be done in triplicate. It's from Russia. Yeah, 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 it's, it's, check yeah, out the it's not official, but we're, we're not oh. on the books. But, oh, keep, keep blowing. <laughs> Oh, don't wouldn't, stop. I mean, he wouldn't hold my hand in public. He yeah. Wouldn't. No, we get with a picture right. of what kind of idiot there, he there's was. There's the bad. There's the, but that there's makes bad. sense with the abusive dad. All right. Here's what you need to do. You need to hook up with a guy who's not a bad boy. I know you're attracted to bad boys because your dad's an a-hole, but you no, need to hook up with a guy who's going to make you feel good. Jennifer, he is. If you're going to protect no, him, you're not going to get anywhere. He's not an a-hole. Jennifer, he physically abused you. Mm. That he, qualifies he, for a-hole. He hit me a couple times when I was very, very young. Jennifer, and, all right, yeah. all right. He's, he's qualified for the a hole category. All right, I, I, I don't, no. I don't want to get caught up in semantics yes, here. Yes, he is he, qualified. He, he, right, he made right. you feel, uh, he made he damaged your self esteem, and he'll be traumatized. And now you're attracted to a hole. So how about you just date a guy that you're not so attracted to? Right, that's that a little is, boring. That is, that's going to treat you right, build I'm you up a attracted. little. I'm not attracted to a-holes. I have an above-average intelligence, and I think my brain gets in the way sometimes. Well, Jennifer, why did you hang out with the two and a half years for a guy that was an a-hole? Uh, because he's my best friend's younger brother. He's around all the time. I became very comfortable with him. Uh, yeah. You know, I've, I've known him since we were probably 10, 12 years old. You know, we, we have inside jokes. I mean, he's, he's yeah. almost like family. And then yeah, okay, but hold on, hold on a second. Uh, you, you, your your reasons for uh, not being with guys is uh, you have low self esteem and your brain gets in the way. You know what's happening? Can Nonsense. Can I throw one yeah. More yeah, thing yeah. In? Just yeah. Throw one more thing, and you can give me some feedback. No, no, we're no. Giving I'm giving you enough. We've talked enough to you. Go out and find a guy and have a relationship. Yeah. Don't get pregnant. Jennifer, don't get married. Just get out there. Way more. Put going the training on. wheels on and go get out there. Way I more. Date like five guys at the same time. Yeah, sure. make it make it ten. Way more going on emotionally in Jennifer than she Dude. has any idea. Yes, she has something called projective identification. You and I felt it. Yes, that hostility. It's yes. all there, and of all course, right. it fits with the a hole dad. All you right, can make a date with a therapist. Yes, yes, yes. Start well having done. sex with a therapist <laughs> i i concur oh no now here's here's the thing about uh drew and i we start feeling we start feeling it come from her mm -hmm. and the and chaos the chaos and by the way these are these endless conversations where it's like oh my dad's a prince oh he hit me oh my he's the greatest guy oh he, he eroded my self-esteem look i don't want to i don't want to by play the way a ping terrified of dating is not someone who hangs out for two and a half years with a guy that's not right. terrified of dating that's somebody who has sort of post-traumatic stress disorder because she went after an a-hole for two and a half years and it, it, it affected her. Yeah. And now it's very anxiety-provoking to get back in again because you are attracted to a-holes. Yeah. Listen, everybody, let me give you a little speech about being with nice people. Everybody, especially you, you, you ladies. <laughs> oh, you went dynamic. You went brilliant. Oh, he's hilarious. Oh, he's just, just, oh, what a thinker. What a mind on this yeah. guy. So deep. Find a nice guy. Find a guy who's easy. Find a guy who's friendly. Let me tell you something. People, they're like breeds of dogs. Some are friendly and some are like just oh, chihuahuas. You know what I mean? <laughs> and and sometimes the big thinkers, these guys are tormented. They're trouble. And that's great. It's fun. It's exciting for a weekend. It's passionate. But day in and day out, 
get an easy going. Nothing better than someone with a good disposition. Think about your friends. Forget about lovers. Forget about uh, the opposite sex. Think about those friends of yours who are just laid back. They're in a good mood. There's no piece of news that, you know, you could go out, borrow their car, wrap it around a telephone pole, and you would go back thinking, eh, he's going to be cool with that. He's a cool guy or a cool chick or whoever it is. And then there's the ones. It's always trauma. It's always trouble. There's always chaos. You want to marry one of those people? You want to spend years with one of those people? Find someone who's got a good disposition. Find a nice lab. A nice yeah. lab. Boy, Happy to see you. Happy to see you when you come home. I hate to burst your bubble, but the nice ones have some surprises, too, sometimes. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Those aren't really problems. nice ones. They're not so. really nice ones. Those they, are the guys. The masquerading guys who, is nice. They, they seem so sock. nice. Yeah, a but thin plastic wood grain veneer. <laughs> nice. It's a Over chihuahua. An IKEA furniture. A wooden wooden uh, lab. Yeah, Interior. it's a chihuahua. Trojan horse yeah. is what we were saying. That's Trojan right. lab. Trojan nice lab. Nice guys <laughs> have problems, too, though. They, oh, they kind. everybody. They here's the thing about no, and I'm not. I'm not. I don't want to say about boring. I'm guys, not talking really. about nice. Yeah, because nice to me is like, well, it doesn't make the other guy mean. Yeah, it's it's not the difference between nice and it's mean. Chaos it's just, and calm. It's just That's the comfortable in your yeah. skin. I don't mean cocky. I don't mean even confident. I just mean relaxed. Not people chaotic. that are easy. People that enjoy being alive, and that doesn't mean they're going uh, base jumping every day. They're not <laughs> adrenaline junkies. We know the people that are relaxed. So right. You guys are getting uncomfortable just sharing the relaxed I am, story because you know I'm right. You know I'm right, no. and you hope no, these guys think that that guys makers. out there. There isn't really oh, guys that's totally they're, relaxed. Of course, they're, they're out there. Like, You're just you know. not into them. Look! Look at Chris over here. He's almost falling asleep. He's, he's comatose. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm relaxed. Yeah, yeah. no kidding. It's hot. Yeah. It's he smells like Ow. aqua velva. He's, he's like a lap dog. He just you take him. You can take him on the plane with you. Or I'm not sure if he's allowed to go on the plane anyway. But you know what I'm saying. He gets to go bag. everywhere. Yeah, yeah but bag. something freaks him out. No, he's got he, some problem. No, everybody does. What if no. I asked him to marry me right now? He'd do it <laughs> tonight. Do it tool tonight. Okay. Yeah, he'd do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get over there. Get married. The point is, is you guys need a guy, and I'm not, I'm not talking about a puss. I'm mm -hmm. just talking about a guy whose disposition is genuine, genuinely good. I, I like the way the, the the girl band translation of punk is "marry me." Let's get married. <laughs> <laughs> that's punk. Yeah, that, that's how that you scare a guy. Score. That's all I know. Yeah, that's all I know. Move in with me is also scary. <laughs> that's yeah. a scary. Or let's one have too. babies. <laughs> it's really scary. They don't like that. Chris tinkled in his pants. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's like Fletch coming in here and barfing. Yeah, it's the same thing. <laughs> it's rock and roll. It's all right. Poopoo City. I'm just saying there are plenty of nice guys out there. They're not. You're not attracted to them because they don't seem, you know, dynamic enough. Right. You don't have. You can be nice and smart. You can right. be nice and make a good living. You can be nice and funny, but you don't want troubled because troubled when you're when you're sort of uh, tormented, when you're when you're one of those when those guys. That's it. You're that way the whole time. Mm -hmm. You can do a little therapy. You can uh, read a few books. You, things can get better or worse, but it, you're always that guy. Drew, are you any different really than you were twenty years ago? I am. You are. Mm. I, don't crap on my point, by the way. Don't give me a coffee, would you? Yeah, but okay. Your your better version, as I yelled at you one day in the hall when you were yelling at me about therapy, you told me to change. <laughs> what I yell at you, Drew? Drew was incensed. But the point is, is he, Drew, you're better version of what you were, but yes. you're not different. Not, not, you're the same it's, guy. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Same guy. Yeah, yeah. All right. You just well, manage maybe, your problems better than you used that, to. That's right. That's right. Regular. Maybe you better. can't ever find the perfect guy, but you can find someone who makes you feel comfortable. That's yeah. what he's saying. Yeah. Yeah. This, that's what I'm saying. You look looking for the perfect guy. Here's what you'll do. You go through a succession of horrible guys, you never find the perfect guy. Don't go look for the perfect guy. Look for a guy. Look for I know. I'm telling you. <laughs> and I'm not saying to, I'm not telling you to compromise. And, and by the way, why is compromise such a big deal in I this? Don't know. It, it's like when did compromise turn into such a bad word? Oh, I'm not going to compromise. Well, compromise. I'm never going to compromise. Yeah, suggest not uh, negotiating, but but giving in. Yeah, I think it's the American dream that messed it up because Compromise everybody thinks you're healthy. supposed to have the biggest goals and achieve them and start it with nothing and then end with everything. Right. Well, you have you a know? dream and you get exactly what you want. And Otherwise, so. you're not American. I, hmm. I, compromise is, uh, I agree, we've set the bar a little, a little too high. But uh, again, forget about uh, the geniuses or the uh, troubled artists or uh, any of these <laughs> deep-thinking a-holes. A and by I've the way... I've never had one of those. Good. 
because that's just a facade anyway. They're just insecure. Yeah. Find, find a guy who's comfortable in his own skin and friendly. Find a nice guy. Find a guy who's happy. My you know, boyfriend's pretty happy and friendly. He's a publicist. He can't be. <laughs> Shut Deeply up. tormented. Well, he's got De- some problems. Deceiving you know, people all day long. He keeps them inside. There's a corner in hell with his name on it. Yes. He's a good publicist. Where is he? Is he here? He's I'll in break New York. him down. I'll straighten him out. All right. He was here last time I came here. Lower you'll meet your standards, him. He'll kill you with one. kindness. Yeah. You'll feel bad. You'll cry. Find happy. Find a happy, happy person. I, you know, I yes. like the direction this is going in. When you started, I didn't agree with you, and now I do. Right. Happy. Hang out with happy. Happy is good. Positive. Nice guy, I don't go with that, because anyone can pretend to be a nice guy. Right. 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 But we're we're getting you're... a little, uh, sort of, arguing about sp- semantics of what and, nice and here, Here's the other thing, people. We need to start rewarding happiness in this society. We, we pass these people off as simpletons or dullards, or look at him, he doesn't know enough to be miserable. No, he's happy, or she's happy. Let them be happy and enjoy it and, and reward them. Hang around with them. Smile at them. Be happy with them. Drew, would you start getting happy, you jackass? <laughs> start hanging around with happy people, would you? Come on, half it up, idiot. I better get out of here. How dare you? You know I'm happy. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Let's get happy. Let's break it down. Everyone, get happy now. Ooh, yay. All right. Start rewarding happiness. Let's go. Yeah, candy. Yes. You're happy, right? I'm very happy. All right. All right, that's that. So, there, you go. there you go. What's up? All right, now I'm angry. <laughs> What's up? Um, I have a question, actually, of course, obviously, mm-hmm. about warts. Yeah, go. Mm-hmm. Common warts, like on a hand. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then um, can, like, a guy get a common wart on his penis, or would that be no. considered genital? That's a genital wart. Yeah. But what if I mean, it's own? possible that the common wart uh, shares a type that could go to the genitalia, but it, it's rare. It's unusual, different, right? right? It tends to be a little different. Why, why though? If you I, can spread a wart yeah, from hand to know. hand, why? But it doesn't. Know. Yeah, no. You can't get on your forehead, though, can you? Right, no. What is that? I, it's where the, where the virus attaches. You know, the cells are different, different parts of the body. That's what makes them go to that part of the body mm-hmm. and differentiate into that particular location. Mm-hmm. And therefore, the surface of the cells are a little different. And the virus can attach themselves to specific cells. Mm-hmm. You a real doctor or just a love doctor? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Candy? Yes. All right. Well, so what's, what's going on? He's got something on his hand? Well, yeah. I mean, he just has regular common warts on his hand, and he treats them with, like, whatever compound W. Mm-hmm. But then he kind of, well, we kind of noticed that um, he had, I mean, I think it's like healed now, but just kind of like some kind of something on, on like around the head of his penis. Mm-hmm. Well, and so around the corona that. flare? I'm yeah. Sorry. It's the theme of the show. <laughs> yeah, it really is. Well, I head talk. Somebody needs to look at that, and if it's a ward, you are going to catch it. Okay. Um, hmm. hmm. Like, what can, the it lo- what can it look like? Because mm-hmm. I've like done research about um, genital warts, and yeah, you're not in a position. Like you're not in a position. To, and, yeah, uh-huh. you're not in a position to make a diagnosis. Don't even right. think about it. Yeah, right. I know. All right. All right. Well, go to go to a doctor. Go to a okay. clinic. Hey, go with him because don't trust him to tell you. Yeah, what they say. I, I say this yeah. all the time, so and Adam Adam freaks out about it. But fifty yeah. percent of people your age, Candy, have the wart virus at least. And you might at want to get least. at least, and you might want to get tested. And, well, yeah, I'm sure your doctor will test you when he does his pap, his or her pap smear on you. At least, and at least, that you means may already at have at least it. two and a half people in this room have the ward virus. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. Uh, hello. I totally have no wart. Uh, you don't uh, see them in women. You don't see them that they show means, up on the pap smear. <laughs> that means you and Chris have it. Oh, Chris, we share something. Maybe you guys could it. get together. Well, well, that that means Adam, you and I have. That it. means I have it. <laughs> well, you guys are married, so. Yeah. Yeah, but not to each other. Oh, we wait share a everything. Oh, oh, yes, we do. Yeah, oh yeah. It's a All that mistress talk earlier. That was yeah, just a, a beard. <laughs> Dylan. Yeah. You're Hi. 15. Yes. What's up? Uh, well, I go to a Catholic school, but I'm not Catholic. Dylan, and how old are you? I'm 15. Mm-hmm. And I'm All in right. high school. All right. All right. And uh, well, we had a like a sex ed teacher come in, who was Catholic. Mm-hmm. And she made it sound like that abstinence is like the only way to not get an STD, and that we're gonna get chlamydia or whatever. Mm-hmm. We have like sex before marriage, and I was just mm-hmm. wondering, Doctor Drews, 
thoughts on that? Like, if well, if if okay, you are reaction. if you're abstinence, you're definitely not going to get anything. That is true. Uh, what's your risk of getting chlamydia if you are sexually active? Well, obviously, if you're with somebody who doesn't have an infection, your risk is zero. Hmm. Yeah. True, you make two uh, very uh, brilliant and yes. controversial right. points. So, uh, so one is no sex, you don't get anything. And, and two is if, if you don't want to yeah. get a car accident, don't get in your car. Right. All right. Uh, yeah. Thank so, you, Drew. Right. All right, that's horrible advice. Dylan? <laughs> Maybe you yeah. should go to a Jewish school. <laughs> yeah. Go to a Jewish school. So anyway, the, the the reality is that let's say you did get chlamydia, what would happen to you then, Dylan? Uh, I think chlamydia is one of the curable STDs. Right, you take a you take a single dose of an antibiotic, and that'd be the end of that. Yeah, you're fine. So for males, it's not that big a deal. Well, you got to wear a condom, Dylan. But you Dylan, you're not going to get laid for a while. <laughs> well, I got news for you. I can hear okay, it in your voice. I was just wondering if Drew thought was it would advise abstinence, or if he thought. Abstinence is always a goal. Do you? It's, do you, well, for you, it's a goal Dylan, for everyone but us. Do you? It, we make it your goal. Yeah, Dylan. It's definitely Dylan's goal. Dylan, do you have a? Do you have a girlfriend? Uh, no, not at the moment. I definitely right. suggest abstinence before eighteen, categorically. Okay. Dylan, what do you? What do you? What are you into? Are you into sports or uh, video games or something? Yeah, I play soccer and stuff. Mm -mm. I play a lot of sports. A lot of sports. All right. Now, do the ladies like you? You're gay. True, please. Uh, well, I'm not gay. <laughs> true, fine. I don't, I don't know why I came up with that. Chris. True. Uh, Anderson. Have, Anderson. Have, Have you ever seen a you porno anymore? movie? Yeah. Dylan. Yeah. Have you ever seen a dirty movie? Uh-huh. You have. Okay. Did you like it? Yeah. yeah I'm not gay. Not You're gay. gay. Okay. All right. Drew, yeah. please. Please. <laughs> Talk about eroding self-esteem. <laughs> hey, Dylan. You'll be fine. Just relax. 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 Just relax. relax. He's gay. Stay True. abstinent. That's Please. great. That's the you. best. Yeah. He's not going anywhere. No. No, I can tell by the voice. A mm. couple of years. Good couple of years. Good. Over. 18, whatever. It's whatever Fine. It yeah. Oh, I was just talking about internet porn today with uh, my coworkers yeah. uh, and uh, thinking as a guy, as a 14-year-old as a, as a boy, uh, imagine this magic box mm -hmm. filled with nudity. A, a, a bottomless barrel of pornography. Could you imagine that at 14? Yeah, if you have cyber sex, you won't get chlamydia. Yeah. But just, still, yeah, like, on a, if a it's job. a family computer, it's like, it's almost worse than finding mm. it under the bed, like finding it under the history. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There are worse titles, I think, than Playboy. <laughs> mm. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah, you'd that's be praying, true. Praying for Playboy yeah. once. The, and you can't pass it off as, like, art, or you were just reading the articles. No. Oh, no. But, but imagine, imagine this, Drew. Yeah. You you were let's say when you're 14 years old there were there were, there were women who would be the equivalent to you know Pam Anderson to some guy who was uh, 14 or 15 today. Imagine you could just type her name into into uh, the, the keyboard Magic and box. magically pornography with her and it would come up. Or here's a shot of uh, the side of her boob from some movie she did. It was cut out. Could you imagine? You're just like ah oh, who who are you into? Oh, I like Alyssa Milano. All right. Oh she's topless over here. I mean, could you imagine? Wouldn't go. To, wouldn't get through high school. You would explode, <laughs> or 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 deflate so quickly that you shot through the wall. I I'd probably be more than. Then you just go like a balloon. <laughs> That's right. I mean, could you? Could you imagine, Drew? Could you? No, it'd be painful. Could you imagine if, like, no. uh, I don't know who your women were? The like, human will never be the same. Who was your women growing? Like Susan B. Anthony? Who are you, who are you uh, looking at? Um, uh, Sacagawea. <laughs> <laughs> Gertrude Stein. Eve. Who, yeah, Eve. Eve. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everyone getting into the act. Yeah, imagine mm. on the internet. Martha Washington. Naked on a houseboat. <laughs> Martha Washington performing oral on a houseboat. Sure, you go insane, yes? <laughs> yeah. All right, shall we? Uh, shall we take a break? We're gonna uh, let the uh, Donnas leave. They were they were kind enough to stay another good long uh, break. Oh, look, Chris up on his feet. We will. Uh, he's got to chase them out of here. Yeah, we will play hear a song some, uh, when we get back. Yeah, we'll definitely a good hear song. some. We're gonna, they left us two songs. Which one are we to play? Yeah, yeah. Well, you tell me which one you want to hear. Me, and then there's I don't want to know if oh, you don't want me. We're, oh, we're so playing both. both. Oh, both. Yes, both? Fall Behind Me is a single now, and the I don't want to know if you don't want me will be the next single. Well, which one? If you if if something <laughs> happened like an earthquake hit or something, and we all would play one song, right. which one would it be? Fall Behind Me is the one we're all putting our chips down on right now. All right, all right. so we're going to, uh, we're going to, I want to thank Brett Torrey, Maya Allison from the, the
Uh, that's how I was going to tell you the Tories for some reason. <laughs> what happened to the Tories? I can't remember them. All right. Didn't they, they come lost. in here before? Yeah. Gold medal. Uh, name of the CD. Thanks a lot. Guys, come back uh, anytime, and we'll be right back after this. Well, there you go, everyone. That's the Donnas. God bless the Donnas. Uh, we're going to hear something off the uh, CD gold medal and just a uh, couple of few. Should we do that now just to make well, sure we Well, we should. Do we should, but uh, we're not. Right. Uh, I'm going to say this. Engineer Chris Smitten. Yeah. He, he, yeah. He, smote. He'd take one he of them done been or, or all of them. You know what I'm saying? In sequence or simultaneously. That's, That's why we should right. play the song now. Give him the <laughs> bum rush. Yeah, he's got to go work on himself a little bit. <laughs> he's got to run to the bathroom. <laughs> a little right steam off. A uh, couple things. First off, uh, the uh, genius who did the uh, animation for uh, Chief um, Thunder Bear. Michael uh, Naren. Michael Naren. Michael Naren did uh, something else for us that is uh, even more wonderful than uh, his last yeah. animated effort. Should really, we try to finish it? Really enjoyable. Yeah, I, I haven't thought of an ending uh, for the movie that he uh, narrated. And had, had I known he was going to narrate... So here's the thing. We just talk on the show, and uh, Michael picks out little random snippets that uh, tickle his fancy that are a couple minutes long, and then painstakingly narrates them and does a wonderful he, he, job. He, he brings them to life in cartoon. The narration is just us talking. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I kept saying narrate. Yeah. I meant animate. Animates, yes. Yeah, and does a, does a wonderful job animating them. Thank you for that, Drew. Uh, you guys could take a look at it by going to the Loveline Companion, I do oh, believe. Okay. That's not how I got it up, but I, probably I, that's the case. I know, but I think it's on the uh, Loveline uh, Companion. Yeah. All right. So uh, if you want to go to the Loveline Companion, you can check it out, and it's uh, as uh, entertaining as his last effort, oh, and then some. Mm. Yes? Yes. That's yes. amazing. All right. So uh, thank you, Michael. All right, so why don't we take a call, right. and then we'll go to uh, we'll go to the song. Kira? Kiara? Yeah, Kiara? Kiara? Yeah. Yeah, What's Kiara. going on? Um, I just wanted to say thank you to Adam, because when I was 12 years old, I was in the supermarket, and I was talking to my dad, and I didn't realize it because I didn't listen to Love Line, but um, Adam came up to me and told me I should be on the radio because of my voice, and... Um, I've actually never been on the radio. This is my first time, but um, I I was in college last year and I uh, was majoring in communications and I actually dropped out of the University of Arizona. But, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> Tucson's not a great town. But, um, mm -hmm. it's a good radio um, town, though. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean... All right, let me uh, let me get this straight. First, <laughs> yeah, anyone who knows me knows I'm, I'm on a constant hunt for talent. Hey, and you're, you're renowned for going up to a pre Really? Really? I didn't even know. Them. I didn't no, even know. No, no, I've never done that. <laughs> oh, yes, I, you have. You totally did it to me. So. All right, well, let, let me uh, let me just try to... You sure it was Adam and not somebody pretending to be Adam? I'm sure. No, I'm sure. Like, when I started listening to Loveline, I could... I mean, come on, the voice, like... What? Okay, so you were 12 years old. You were in a market. Yeah, I was in a what market? market. What market? I, I'm not going to. Uh, I don't know. Like one of the major Ralphs, or I'm. I'm not really sure exactly which one. Well, what market did your dad in, go to in, when what you were city? a kid? Yeah. I don't know. Pavilions, probably. In Sherman Oaks. <laughs> oh, Maybe. And why would yeah, you be in Sherman it, Oaks, Adam? <laughs> I don't know. I'm. A, I'm, a, I'm allergic. I don't know. To I don't know. It could be a, a couple different places because I live. All right. In a couple anyway, keep going. I, younger, okay. Right? So. That's not all right. I. Oh, well, we got to figure this out. All right. We got to figure it out. Do I know your dad? No. No. no you just walked up. You heard me talking to my dad. No. I. That does not I, sound I know like that, you. I know that part, but yeah. I don't overhear anyone talking. Go up to that. You don't talk in public ever. No. I. You don't I'm, speak in public. Mm. No. Uh, yes, I know. Not a check. No, I I am hoping. Here's what I want to do, and it, it has nothing to do with my uh, C-list celebrity status. You want I try to fly silence, under yes. the radar wherever yes. I am. No, you want to be invisible. I'd like to be invisible. Yes, I know. Yes, it would be nice. Yes, yeah. God, what you would do then? Yeah, oh, please. Oh, go right <laughs> to the junior high and go to the shower. <laughs> Kiara. Yes. Yeah, I don't think I've never seen Adam walk uh, talk to somebody in public. That's what we're trying to. It oh, seems really? very. It oh, okay. seems very. <laughs> seems very unlike me to go up to a okay, twelve well, year old maybe, and her dad. Well, maybe I'm wrong. Well, then maybe I'm wrong. But I mean, whatever the case is. Hold on, hold on, hold on. How did that go down? Yeah, that was. Well, she's compliant. She's nice. 
whatever. But, but can you imagine, like, uh, well, when I was uh, 13, Casey Kasem came over to my dad's house, and he told me that uh, I was a diamond in the rough, and then you called Casey, and he's like, I don't know what you're talking about. Well, all right, yeah, could be wrong. <laughs> so anyway. <laughs> Let's move on. Yeah. Uh, I got, God bless her. Yeah. yeah right. Could have been Greg Brady. Yeah. Oh. Well, no, actually, Greg, Greg Brady lives on my street. Oh, yeah, that's actually really funny. Yeah, Gilbert, you know everyone with nappy hair in this town. All right, so, so you sure was a man cow that came up to you? Uh, yeah, how? Maybe it was the grease man. <laughs> schmacky, schmacky. <laughs> Why not Gilbert Godfrey? Yeah, maybe it was maybe, Gilbert Godfrey. I don't, I don't think it was Gilbert Godfrey, but I, anyway, well, we haven't heard well, your story. Yet. What's no, your story? Wait a minute. Uh, but why do you think it was me? Because I started listening to Loveline like a year later, and I've just never called. Like never ever, I've never had a question. Yeah, but did he? Did a guy walk up and say, "I'm Adam Carolla, Kiara"? He's like, "I'm I'm Adam, and I'm you know I'm on the radio, and I just wanted to say, let you know." Oh, that, that is uh, Kiara. I got a nugget news for you. That is whoever the Adam is. That is not Adam Carolla. Okay. He's, I've, I've, I've never heard him speak his name. Let alone okay, well, in public. Maybe he didn't say his name. I don't know. It was eight years ago. Like I don't know what he. All right, yeah, but well, still. The point is, is I inspired you to yeah. drop out of yeah. college, <laughs> and that's what we should focus I, on. No, you took it wrong. If you did not inspire me to drop out of college, you inspired me to like you know kind of figure out what I wanted to do. But that's all right. You know, well, what is semester off? Doesn't yeah. No, you got to find yourself. Yeah. Yeah. So what? What is it you want? You want to do radio? Well, yeah, I want to major in communications. I'm just not exactly. Oh, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. I, I, Slow down here. The major real Adam is going to tell you now what he didn't tell you then. You, you have no talent. <laughs> <laughs> you have no business well, by, attending radio. By the way, radio. majoring in communication, okay. hang on a second here, Carrie. Majoring in communication and going on the radio are two exclusive I, I, phenomenon. They are no, not. No, no, no. I totally understand that. I totally understand that. If you want to do radio, yeah. go do radio. Go yeah, study no, philosophy. No, I've applied to internships for you guys probably every Look, five But listen you to me. phone screen or badly. You listen. <laughs> that's true. We do. It's, yeah. Yeah. Well. But just listen. You you need to f study political science or philosophy or something. You right. need to be. If you want to be on the radio, you need to have interesting well, I'm really ideas. In philosophy. So there you go. Study philosophy and okay. go do radio somewhere. There All right. Go. There you go. Perfect. Perfect. Then call us back in five years. Hello, young lady. <laughs> My name is Adam. No, I'm Adam. I'm on the radio. <laughs> I am on FM radio in a syndicated <laughs> program known as Loveline. <laughs> You have an exquisite voice. May I say that? And See, by the way, where are the fish sticks? <laughs> here's the thing. People that listen to you on the radio probably don't realize how bizarre and far off that is from because the radio you and the public you very different. Yeah. Yeah, you don't talk. Well, okay, here's the thing about me. I I think the same things <laughs> that I say on the radio, right. but I unless I'm getting paid, I don't want to talk. Boring. Only thing I've heard. Right. Only thing I've ever heard Adam say to people in public is uh, two words: "Beat it." <laughs> That's it. That's what you say to people. Well, I don't just run up and yell, beat no, it. No, if they people. come up to you, you say, beat it. Yeah, that's when snot nosed 16 year olds go, Are you as big a ass in person as you are on TV? Beat it. <laughs> yeah, it yeah. comes back, beat it. <laughs> no, well, beat it. Screw I said, beat it. All right, look. I'm, All right, song. I'm, I'm Donna friendly. Song. Donna song. Yeah, friendly. Yeah, All right, friendly. Yeah. All right, let's. Uh, let, oh, Drew won't stop talking to people at the airport. I know, as I call them the little people. <laughs> Drew knows them as individuals. I know them as a, a throng of little people. And then, as you always coach, might make the mistake of actually caring what they have to say. Yeah, well, that you find bizarre. You read one bad review on Amazon.com, <laughs> it ruins a whole trip. You pout the entire trip. You gotta I move on. Gotta Tough enough, buddy. Gotta let's go. go. All right, let's, let's break it down. Let's do a Donna song. Gotta get come it on. on. We gotta hear a Donna song. Which one did they say uh, we needed to play? Fall behind me. Oh, oh, really? Yeah. All right, right, Chris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Donnas, everyone. Nice, uh, hard out. Yeah, that's radio. And believe me, I know radio. I tour the Southland. Looking for young, fresh talent in the frozen section of uh, most supermarkets and then approaching them and commenting on it. All right, we will uh, take ourselves a uh, little break. Donna's have left the studio. Gold medal, name of their CD. Papa Roach in here on Thursday, and we'll be right back after this. Hey, everybody, it's Loveline. I'm Adam. That's Dr. Drew. 
Elocution, that's uh, one of the words I use. For what? Well, when I'm approaching young ladies oh, in the yes. market. Oh, it, well, prepubescent females only. Yes, you must project. You and Thurston Howell. It, How dare you? Yeah. Love and then, me. Yeah. And then um, I get them to, I say, uh, re when I'm looking for young radio talent, I say, repeat after me, be high men. <laughs> They're like, be high men? No. Be high men. It's a noble word. Say it with pride. God. Be high men. No. Be high men. See what I'm saying, Drew? I, I see what you're saying. Mm-hmm. It's good times. Aces, Mexican, Ranchero, Accordion, Countdown. Now repeat after me. You see, Drew? Yes. yes That's I what see, I do. I see. It's good. All right. Nice. I, I'm, 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 I would love to crawl inside of people's heads once in a while and just find out what was going on. <laughs> <laughs> Adam talked to me in the supermarket, and then here's the other part. Here's the part I'm, I'm interested in. Very, uh, very uh, quick to let it go. All yeah. right, well maybe it was someone well, what's else. Like, but both what? of us were like, like, Adam spoke to you at the supermarket. What, what are you talking about? But I'm, I'm just, just saying, if I had been living this for yeah, yeah. eight years, you, you, you I wouldn't have got let it go. I would have been like, so, wait a minute. Yeah. Now hold on a second. Yeah, yeah. You, I, I, cl I distinctly but remember. In yeah, spite of like, that, I appreciate what she did. <laughs> I appreciate I her backing down fast. All right, where are we going? We talked to Blaine. I don't like talking to guys named Blaine. Blaine? Yep. You're 18? How's it going? What's up? Love the show. Thank you. Love you, brother. What's up, Blaine? <laughs> <laughs> um, I have a neighbor who uh, I've been I've been basically uh, best friends with for the last couple of years. And uh, she uh, and Hold I have gotten to know each other pretty well. Hold on a second. Hold on. Yep. Already, I, I'm translating. I have this neighbor who I've been in love with for four yeah. years. Okay, go ahead. You've been pining after. Pining for four years. Got mm -hmm. it. Actually, actually, not really. Um, the funny right. thing is, I dated her friend for for a couple of years before that, and um, got to know her through a friend. Trying to get at, trying to get mm -hmm. at this girl, mm -hmm. I dated her friend. And, uh, yeah. And um, uh, basically, I didn't really start to really like her until uh, noticed that I started to like her until uh, like the last eight months or so, and then. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. I just I've just been contemplating it, and uh, mm -hmm. I'd I'd just like to know uh, if you guys had any ideas on how to make her notice that uh, maybe I'd like to make it more th more than a friendship. Okay. Well, first we should figure out whether you think she ever had those feelings for you, but you, you sort of ignored down, them or yeah. squelched them. Why are you friends and not uh, romantically involved? Well, she's already? a neighbor. No, she's but neighbor. I understand. But why didn't? Uh, why it did happens? You? All right. All right. Um, <laughs> well, we did. We did hook up one time, and yeah. uh, mm. unfortunately for me, it was kind of in an awkward time for her. She had just broken up with one of her boyfriends, and uh, me and her ended up hooking up and uh, not sleeping together. Just uh, we made out how, or whatever. How long, and then how long ago? How long ago? She kind of she kind of freaked out. And how long like, ago did that um, happen? Uh, three four months. Uh, Four months. And uh, have you spoken to her since? Oh, yeah. We still right. talk every day. She freaked out uh, mid-makeout? Yeah, basically. She she got up out of my house and just left. No, <laughs> not a good sign, Blaine. Yeah, yeah that's no. really <laughs> bad. That doesn't mean she's been pining for you for a while. No. All right. Now, here's the thing. As a guy, you can win people over. Mm. You mm -hmm. know? Um, and she already made out with you once. Hmm. Which suggests that she's not repulsed by you. It sort of depends well, where he's, she's he's, at. He's squarely in Friendville. Yeah. Yeah, but <laughs> has had some physical contact. Yeah, yeah you're right. There's the door is slightly open. Was she drunk? Jar. Yeah, was she drunk? No, 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 no. No. All right. right. All right. Why don't you ask her out? Quailed. Why don't you ask her out? Have an actual date. Declare, mm, declare your that, major. She's going to freak out. She's no, no, freak out. no, no, no. We we go out on date like situations all the time, but we we always avoid declaring it a date. I mean, we're yeah. we're basically like mm. best no. friends. No, no. you where, avoid declaring it. It's time for you to declare well, your major. He here. doesn't want to know the answer. Where right. is she at with her dating? Is she seeing anybody? Um, kind of. She's in between guys. Uh. -oh. uh She's one of her one of the guys that she likes is actually one of my friends uh, that's down in Tucson. Uh, an idiot. And her, she's still kind of infatuated with her ex boyfriend mm -hmm. that uh, she dated for about six or seven months. Let me talk to Drew. Yeah. Maybe, maybe. Taps. Uh, here's the thing. He's in a little. That's nice. He's in a little over his head. 
She probably. she, she, like, I, she I, likes I, him some, yeah. but she likes other guys too. Bad guys, and she's not necessarily bad guys. She's just a person who's you know. Once in a while, you you meet here. Here's what I'm saying. There are eighteen. How old is who are we 18, talking about? 18. Yeah, they're eighteen-year-old guys that are sort of new, getting started, yeah. beginning their dating career, yeah. and then there's eighteen-year-old women that are like KG veterans. Right, right. You know, they've been in the game for a while. Mm -hmm. I dated this guy. I'm seeing this guy. I'm seeing a couple of guys. Oh. There's this one guy we're going out with, but he's out of town. Right, right. There's an ex-boyfriend that she's, still seems to be floating around. Game. I don't mind hooking up with a neighbor once in a while. They're able to date sort of casually. Mm -hmm. Now that's usually a woman that's a little bit. There's yeah. something going on, yeah. a little chaotic. Yeah. They need somebody, any port in a storm, they'll not be alone, and they need to feel good about Certainly aren't going to settle guys. with the nice guy. They're, they're not attracted to the guy that's going to treat them like right. a queen. Right. Not yet. Not yet, right. they gotta, they got to crap out a few kids. They gotta or, have a, or just have a few bad relationships. They're, uh, they're a black guy and a few stretch marks away from this. So Blaine, here's Blaine's move. Have, a, have somebody else as a girlfriend for a while. Keep your eye on this one, and when she's through getting through the mill... Yeah. Then you then you jump. No. Yeah. 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 When when she's all uh, effed out thirteen years from now, you can come in and pick up the pieces. Yeah. Thanks, Drew. All right. No. Look. Look, Blaine. Here's what you can do. Here's what you can do. You can go out with her and try to take it. Try to ratchet it up. You can you can ask her out and try, but but if but if she's tentative about it, if it ain't happening, don't then, push. Then it's time to it's yeah. time to move on, and you can't hang out and be friends with her for a little while. No, it's true. you like her too much; yeah. it's too painful. Yeah. Okay. All right. You got to get on. You got to get on with your dating career. That's right. That's right. Because this is the kind of chick, by the way, who will keep you in a holding pattern, and five years of your life will go and, by. And have no by the way, you've already lost you. three or four yeah, years. No problem doing that to you. No, their their whole thing is sort of uh, everyone is a prospective client, mm -hmm. and they're not going to let anyone go buy another house. Mm -hmm. uh, meanwhile, they're not going to rent the house out to you, but if something happens to the current tenant and they need someone to come in for a couple of weeks, you'll be notified. Yeah. And it doesn't behoove them. There's really nothing in it for them to let you completely go, so they don't. Mm -hmm. uh, they don't really care about you. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying this is this girl per se, but there are people out there whose take is, uh, why should I let anything go? What What's in it for me to have a guy who likes me or have a girl who likes me ever be completely dissuaded from liking me and hook up with somebody right. else? Right. I may have some use for them at some point down the road. Yes? Yes. All right. Should we take a break, Drew? Yes. All right. We'll be right back after this. I think the uh, Donnas, the Glorious Donnas. For Glorious coming in. Donnas, yes. Nice ladies. Gold medal. Name of the CD. Go out and get it if you huh? haven't already. Papa Roach uh, in Ooh. here. Speaking of popping a chubby. Uh, Engineer Chris got a little steam off. Little steam yeah. off. I'm not huh? sure if he's going to make it home, by the way. No, no, it's a car one. Yeah. It's, it's a car. I hope they got some Scotch Guard <laughs> on the uh, velour of that Ranger. All right. We'll take a uh, little break. And so until next time, Sandra Crawler for Dr. Drew saying. Mahalo. I am on <laughs> FM radio in a syndicated program known as Loveline. You have an exquisite voice. May I say that?